as Hilda's buttermilk bosom squished up against his granite abs. To Rolf almost had a dick aneurysm. Hilda, to Rolf murmured thickly, his throbbing meat wand pressing against Hilda's warm thighs. There's a secret I need to tell you. You are my forbidden treasure. Hilda now saw herself and Tarolf happy together, bathed in the golden light of love. Her snooch got very warm too. It's from Sandra Hill's timeless masterpiece, Rough and Ready. Erotic fiction, or sexual scripture as I like to call it, has often been touted as the refuse, the discarded adult diaper, the panda express, if you will, of the written word. Good evening. I'm Daniel Gillies. Perhaps you remember me from the Christian musical We Need to Talk About Heaven. Or oh, box office disaster, there will be stud. Tonight I'd like to venture another interpretation to the filth, as you would call it, the naughty bits, before they're so recklessly, disdainfully cast aside. These carnal poets, nay, carnal warriors, may to many of you seem bereft of any discernible talent. To that, I say fuck you. I say fuck you right in the ass, not in a sexy way either. So during the next several months of your miserable lives, I'll be introducing you to a new canon of profound and deeply moving literature. This is a call to arms. We need a new commitment to honesty. You see, these troubadours of titillation offer a new dialect of candor, brandishing aloft a thick torch of rough but not unpleasant guidance. Sorry about that. Shamefully, many of you are already aware of their greatness, you know? Seldom will you volunteer that information publicly, and it's disgraceful. How many of us would openly admit that we, you know, pick our nose, that we text in a car while we drive, that we religiously masturbate to images of Scott Eastwood, and yet we all know we do. We all know that we do. Every last one of us. So let's just dispense with the ball gag of fear. Let's shatter the crystal dildo of taboo. Let's all just ram our collective dicks into a brand new dimension of desire. Yeah. I mean, people relentlessly approach me in the street. They say things to me like, Daniel, you're basically like the Usain Bolt of skirt. You know? Where in God's name did you learn to become such a titan of sexual supremacy? I don't say Jane Austen. I don't say Emily Bronte. I do. I never say Margaret Mitchell. It's Michelle Reed, Abby Green, Charlotte Lamb. Look, I don't need to sell this anymore. I, 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 nor should I have to. But the words, as they say, speak for themselves. To Rolf entered her like she was a lottery. His engorged pecker pushed inside her, and she felt fulfilled with sexual fulfillment. Okay. Her spongy love mountains hurled to and fro with each pounding. Her body was a beautiful flower that was opening, and someone was pushing their dick in it. It's beautiful. Turolf moaned. He arched his back and suffered from dick Parkinson's. Dick Parkinson's. It's enchanted. And it's so brave.